morning thank you so much for joining me i hope everybody's well and having a good week and i'm going to do that thing i always do and fiddle about with the chair and settle into it which i should have done before i turned on the record button but there we go it's just a habit isn't it um yes today i thought we'd talk about lovely things a favorites video if you will where i talk about some of the things actual things and not actual things <laughs> that I have been enjoying. I think this, that throughout the beginning part of this year, I cannot believe we are almost at the end of March. That's a quarter of the year gone. Where has that gone? It, it's weird because January seemed to go so slowly, so slowly. It went on for a long time, January, <laughs> as it very often does. And um, as we've got more into the year, the months seem to be whizzing past. And I believe this is the first favourites video I've done this year. I was going to incorporate favourites into my Friday chats. Um, I think that was my plan at the beginning of the year. And that hasn't really worked out. I haven't done Friday chats every week. And sometimes they've been slightly different format. So it um, hasn't panned out like that. And I've got quite a lot of things that I wanted to mention. So I thought I would do a good old fashioned favourites video. So let's start with a couple of foodie items which I have discovered during the first couple of months of this year and very much enjoyed. And the first one, I think I might have mentioned this already, is the Marmite and Cheese bread rolls. You can get them in Marks and Spencers. They're Marks and Spencers brand. I'll pop a picture up. They've probably been outside, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll, I'll, they are just so tasty. I don't think they're particularly good for you, but they are very, very tasty, especially toasted with a bowl of soup for lunch. They are really very nice indeed. You have, obviously have to be a Marmite lover, as you probably know if you've spent any time on this channel at all. I am indeed a Marmite lover. Um... But if you're going into Marks and Spencer and you like Marmite, that's worth picking a pack up. They are very, very tasty indeed. Um, the other favourite, slightly better <laughs> food-wise, is um, these Rivita Crispy Thins. Um, I got the rosemary and sea salt flavour and they are blooming delicious. You can, They're really, really thin. I think they're something like, don't quote me on this, but way less than 50 calories a slice I've, I've got 29 calories in my head but that could be wrong so don't quote me on that in fact i will look it up and put it across here for um because i ought to know that shouldn't i but you can use them for dipping or you can spread them with a little bit of cream cheese or whatever you fancy spreading on them really but they are really really tasty you can really taste the rosemary. I'm a big fan of rosemary. And um, for very few calories, they've got a really nice crunch and just feel like you've eaten something naughtier than it was, which is always good, isn't it? Right, moving on. We do have a sponsor for today's video and it is always a joy to work with a brand that you are already a very happy, long-term paying customer of. And I'm sure some of you have guessed already, today's um, sponsor is Readly. For anybody who doesn't know Readly, they are a magazine app. Um, it's subscription-based and you have access to over 7,000 magazines and newspapers. Yes, you heard that right, 7,000, <laughs> mind-blowing. I haven't read them all, spoiler alert. Uh, there's many fantastic features of Readly that I really like. One of them is that you can download magazines for offline reading. So if you find yourself, for example, on a plane or a train without access to the internet, if you plan a little bit ahead and download your favourite magazine, you've got them there at the touch of a button. You do not need your device to be connected to the internet in order to enjoy a bit of quality reading time. Um, you can also share one account over five different devices, which works perfectly for us. Ashley's got Readly on his phone and likes to read his um, motorsport magazines and his finance magazines on there. I've got it on my iPad so I can read all my cooking magazines and interiors and and obviously if you have other members of the family who want access to Readly you've got another three options or I've got another three options to share it with other family members as well. 
If I'm a bit stuck for something to read, I try the discover section, which always has some good ideas based on what you've read before, which is brilliant. And, uh, and the other thing I like is that if I find something I want to come back to at a later date, you know, like in a physical magazine, you turn down the corner and come back to it or rip the page out. You can actually bookmark them and go straight back to your bookmarks. So if I find a recipe or something that I want to cook, I just bookmark it and I can go straight back to it, which I think is a brilliant feature. Now, if you are interested in trying Readly, I do have an offer for you. You can try it for two months, completely free of charge, and you can cancel at any time. Um, you need to use my link, which is in the description box below. I'll always also pop it in the pinned comment. So if you're struggling to find the description box, because I know they've moved it around and they keep making it more difficult to find, don't they? It will be in the top comment in the comments, se comments section, so it will be there. But yeah, you can try it for two months, completely free of charge, cancel any time, and you can, uh, it, after that, it will be $9.99 a month, which I think you will agree is a very reasonable price. Uh, price. I am very happy to pay that for unlimited magazine and newspaper reading. I think it's a great value for money. Right, the next thing I wanted to talk about, let's do a couple of, in fact, we can segue from that one into this one. So, um, one of the things that I've been enjoying so far this year, we are lucky enough to have been on several different mini breaks. In fact, we've just come back from one, which I haven't, I didn't film because we were away with friends for the weekend, down in Falmouth in Cornwall really liked Falmouth, such a nice place. I've never been there before and I thought it was lovely. The seafront was really nice and it, the, um, they had lots of independent little shops so I would highly recommend Falmouth if you've not been. It's quite a long way, I mean it's it's not too bad for us, it's only just over a couple of hours I think for us but um, if you're coming from further up the country, Cornwall's a long way isn't it? So yes, but um, yes it was very nice. I enjoyed Falmouth very much had a good weekend with our friends it's it's a bit it's nice to explore new places and go to places you haven't been isn't it it's always fun and we found some nice places to eat and we enjoyed the shops and yeah just generally had a very nice time on the subject of mini breaks i have got a travel favorite to show you which i think has been in my favorites before this was also one of my christmas gift ideas that was velcro by the way this is the style pro travel mirror I, I will put everything that I talk about, I'll pop links in the description box if anybody wants to um, explore them further. This is blimmin', I'm trying not to blind you, it's blimmin' absolutely brilliant. It lights up, like so. It stands up, it has a stand, so it stands up. And the lighting in hotel rooms, as I get older, I really struggle with it. So this has been an absolute godsend. And the best thing of all, it has a separate, te sorry, I'm blinding you again, 10 times magnifier, which magnetizes onto it, should you so desire, and lights up so you can do all the difficult, like I, I quite often use a 10 times magnifier for doing my eyes. Um, which I find very useful indeed, but it's a brilliant mirror. I've used this every time we've been away this year, and certainly this weekend, the dressing table in the hotel bedroom we were staying in was right in a really dark corner, so it was absolutely brilliant. So I, I, I just love this for anyone who goes away, whether on holiday or weekends away, or even just to stay with friends, and perhaps you haven't got a great mirror to do your makeup. As we get older and need more light and a good mirror, this this is my new best friend my new travel best friend so i highly recommend that one also on a travel related thing i'm going to mention this again which was one of my christmas gift ideas during vlogmas but i have been using this so much every time i go away it's brilliant it's a little mini travel perfume spray and you fill it you get your favorite perfume you pull off the little squirty bit th there and then you pop it onto the top I can't see what I'm doing there hang on and you press it down several times and it fills it you can see how much you've got in using the little window here and you just spray it there and th they're just so good I mean who wants to go away with this blooming great big bottle a heavy glass bottle of perfume 
when you can go away with that with the same thing in it it's just absolutely brilliant and they're dirt cheap these um again obviously link in the description box um just absolutely brilliant also give good gift idea stocking filler type thing don't know why i'm saying that in march nobody's creating stockings now caroline let's talk books quickly i've read a lot of books i've read i think i don't know 16 something like that um so far this year and um some have been better than others i've got two favorites to share with you four wins by Kristen hannah she's one of my favorite authors i absolutely love her books um in fact her book the nightingale is in my top three books ever i think um this book was set in america in farming land i can't remember but it's, i read it a while ago so i'm struggling to remember but um uh, fa a farming family in the great depression and the characters were brilliant the story was brilliant you, you just really i felt like i was transported there was, she writes so well and if you like a good sweeping saga of times gone by highly recommend this one the other one i've read recently which i then as soon as i finished i passed on to ashley to read because i knew he'd enjoy it as well very rare we enjoy the same books the last one was the martian i think that they made into a film um this was called hidden pictures by um jason reculak i think it was forgive me if that's incorrect um it was sort of a psychological thriller stoke stroke ghost story brilliant twist at the end really enjoyed it very different um it's about a young girl who um has come out of rehab after some problems um and she goes to work for the summer as a nanny to a very well-off family with a little boy and um he is has some no, I'm going to I'm going to stop there, actually. <laughs> um, he is doing some weird drawings. Let's just say that. And it's the story of what happens. But it's very good. Kept me really turning the pages, that one. So highly recommend both of those. Right. Let's talk about this perfume that I've already showed you, but I didn't tell you what it is. This perfume I bought completely blind, having read some reviews of it. And I just love it if you are a fan of tom ford lost cherry this is a good and very much cheaper i'm not gonna say dupe because it's not exactly the same but it's got all of the same vibes about it it's dark cherry and amber it's by banana republic who i didn't even know made perfumes <laughs> go figure before i got this it is just the loveliest loveliest perfume with if you like amber and you like the sort of cherry marzipan sweet but not sickly sweet it's a really grown-up nice perfume this and the reason I've, I've talked about this before i'm sure because i've had it a while um and the reason i'm mentioning it now is that i noticed it's down to 25 pounds on um do you know i can't remember which website it was I cannot remember I'll, I'll link it below where was it no completely gone menopause brain um, I will link it below but it's I think the RRP is something like 55 for this and the Tom Ford one of course is like 180 or probably 200 these days it's a lot of money for a perfume isn't it um so 25 pounds for I think it's the I think it's this size 75 mil i'm pretty sure yes anyway yes lovely lovely perfume if you like that tom ford one but don't like the price this is a very good not going to say dupe but alternative let's say lovely just lovely also lasts for absolutely ages on me i have a big problem with perfumes not lasting and this one really does so highly recommend that this is my new favourite eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness me, this is just so, so good for the money. This is Beauty Bay's own brand. It's the new neutral, as you can see. I got this a couple of weeks ago and I have literally used no other eyeshadow palette since I got this. I absolutely love it. Got a nice big mirror in it. It's £13. £13. And it's got a good selection of very neutral colours. It's not too cool toned. It's not too warm toned. It's just nice and neutral. You've got everything from a really dark black to a sort of 
pale yellowy champagne color up there in the mats and then you've got lots of um shimmers as well i've got it on today i don't know how well you can see that but um yeah it's such a good eyeshadow palette the quality is lovely the shimmers are nice and buttery and go on there's no sort of fallout or powder kick up they blend really nicely it's an absolute steal at 13 pounds i i love it so much that i almost want to buy another one so that when i run out of these colors i've um, got a backup but yeah it's the, the best eye palette i've bought for a long time and so versatile and lovely lovely neutral colors so any eyeshadow palette fans out there there highly recommend that um two more actual things um this which is urban decay eyeshadow primer which is probably not the most exciting thing in the whole world but um i started using this just after christmas i think i used up my last makeup revolution eye primer which they discontinued and i am so impressed with this it just makes i, th I feel like i used it once before years ago and didn't like it and never went back to it and having retried it now i really like it it makes my eyeshadow stay on and look nice and not crease and it lasts all day yet using this it's a really good eye primer also i've been using this since the beginning of january and there's absolutely loads left in there i think i think it would last pretty pretty much forever this because you only need a tiny bit so just wanted to flag that one up as well and finally product wise i have always been a cleansing balm type of girl i love cleansing balms and i'm trying to work my way through my products and use everything up as you know at the moment so i started using this which has been around for a while it's pay is the pay or pie is the brand and this is the light work rose hip cleansing oil it is absolutely fabulous i love this stuff i've never fancied the idea of a cleansing oil on, on my face i haven't i thought but oil difficult to get off not that keen on it this is a revelation i prefer cleansing oil now to a cleansing balm it's so easy to rub in and just massage into your face and then just add a bit of water it all emulsifies and i take it off with a face flannel it just comes off beautifully it leaves my skin soft it removes every single scrap of makeup i don't know how much this is because it's been knocking around for ages i think it probably came in an advent calendar or something but um, I hope it's not horribly expensive. I will link it in the description box below. But I love it. Absolutely love it. And I feel like it drags at my skin less than cleansing balm does as well. If it's easier to massage in than a balm, particularly during the winter when um, you know, everything's a bit colder, you know. But yeah, highly enjoying that one. My final, final favourite for this month. Good Lord, have I talked for 20 minutes? That's a lot. My final, final favourite for this, not month, quarter. Quarter, this quarter's favourites video is mine and Carla's new podcast. I have very much enjoyed learning all the techie aspects of um, a podcast and getting one up and running. You guys who have listened to it seem to have really enjoyed. We've only done episode one so far. I'm filming episode two today. Uh, not filming, recording. Carla and I are recording episode two today. Um, but yeah, we, 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 it's, it's a nice format. I'm liking it. I've enjoyed very much learning all the technical stuff. And um, I, I'm hoping that um, it's planned to be a weekly thing at the moment, although occasionally it may be two weekly, we shall see. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. That also will be linked in the description box below. Um, we are putting it on YouTube at the moment, but eventually the plan is to just have it on the podcast platforms rather than on YouTube as well. Right, that's it for this favourites video. I hope you've found something to tickle your pickle, something of interest. Um, everything I talked about will be linked below. Obviously, if you're interested in trying that um, free trial of Readly, all that information down in the box as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.